Today's topic for discussion is a practical protocol of mycology. And today's practical is the study of the genus Mucor. Mucor it is a saprophytic fungus very commonly occur in laboratory and everywhere it is present. And how to do the practical, what is the requirement for the practical purpose? We need a pure culture of mucor, lactophenol, cotton blue, blotting paper, slides, cover sleep, inoculating needle, spirit lamp and microscope. And when the culture is pure, then what we have to do here during practical, remove a single thread, try to remove few threads or single thread of hypha from the pure culture with a sterile needle in laminar airflow in sterile condition and that hypha you have to mount in a drop of cotton blue and observe under microscope and rewrite the observations how is the mycelium how are the sporangiophores etc observe the slide under microscope keenly and write down the details. The mycelium is cottony white in appearance. Mycelium consists of numerous filamentous, highly branched sinusitic hyphae. Hyphae are tubular, consisting of centrally running continuous vacuole and many nuclei. The nuclei in the hyphae they are freely suspended in the cytoplasm. Nuclei are mostly situated, most of the nuclei gathered toward the peripheral region of the hypha. That, that we can see under microscope. And besides this, the hyphae also contain oil droplets and granules of glycogen which are scattered in the hyphal cytoplasm. Glycogen is, it is a reserve food material. And some hyphae, some erect hyphae are seen in the slide and those erect hyphae they are the sporangiophores. These sporangiophores, these are fertile hyphae and the sporangiophores are unbranched which do not arise in group. And the sporangia are small round structures and which originated at the top of the sporangiophore. They are situated at the top of the sporangiophore. The central region of sporangium is known as columella. The sporangium produces unicellular, oval, non-motile sporangiospores. Okay. And these spores are unicellular but they are multinucleated. This is the figure of mycelium and sporangium is shown. They might sometimes the fungus produces chlamydospores during adverse environmental conditions. Chlamydospores are developed which are thick walled spores and these spores are mostly developed in unfavorable environmental condition as shown in the photograph. Okay. And classification this is this fungus it is the member of phycomycetes. Order is mucorales, family mucoraceae and the name of the genus that is mucor. Okay. This is all about practical of mucor. Just you have to remove the mycelium and you have to prepare slide in a drop of cotton blue and you have to observe under microscope. This is the practical of BSE first year. Okay. And uh, everything we have to do in sterile condition to avoid the environmental pollution. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Save trees. Save earth.